Er, what's happening, my people? So it's your boy Chance Jolivet, aka Smooth, back with another video. Late night. Shay. When I wanna take my ass to sleep. Got a headache, toothache and shit, but let's get to it. <laughs> so we got the shot, season five, episode eight, sweet thing. So this right here is the Valentine's Day episode. It's not Valentine's Day. Far from it. That's crazy. Cause we just had a <laughs> we just had a Christmas episode. We just had a Christmas Christmas episode. Now we got Valentine's Day. Like they just they moving on the seasons. What we gonna have? Uh, Labor Day next week. St. Patrick's Day. We gonna have the Easter episode. So I guess is what they doing. But anyways, so let's get to it. Valentine's Day. Everybody is out there hustling, trying to get their shit together, man. Trying to find cards. That's all everybody doing. They all in in uh CVSs and Walgreens and stores like that, pharmacies looking for cards. Everybody on the cast. So nobody is going is is going to get flowers or candies or jewelry or anything that oh, all getting cards but i guess that's just a stereotypical thing that a brother will probably do is just go get some cards they got some brothers that stepped it up this episode though uh we see darnell is in his own little world like he buying ky jelly and beer and shit he just everybody is scrambling for gifts and stuff darnell just walking in the store like he <laughs> look like he is definitely in his own little world. Like Darnell, he don't give a shit. Jake is hurt. Gemma, she looking like the whole world that fell on top of her head. Uh, and she tell Jake goes trying to check on check on and stuff. And she like, uh, I think you should go to school. I don't want you late for school. You can go. Nah, nah. We, I, I I'm gonna stay. Fuck all that. I'm, I'm gonna stay with you. Just that sentence right there. I think you should go and not be late for school. That says right there, y'all motherfuckers shouldn't have been having no baby anyway. Hell, I'm not saying I'm happy she got traveled in, in this and that, but she ain't, she ain't need to have no, be having no baby. Hell. But anyways, <laughs> Darnell, he wants to marry Jada, man. Like, so he tells Emmett, he tells Emmett, look, I, I'll, this time is going to be different, man. I want to be official with your mama, man. I want your blessing because you've been the man in her life all these years. I want to marry her. Nigga. Nigga. How, how I know you ain't going to break her heart. How I know you change. Niggas don't change and shit. And that's a backdrop for this episode, man. Do, do people actually change? Mm. And the thing about it is, is like, they talk about his Valentine's Day. Like, he want to marry you and do all this nice shit. And he like, Today is Valentine's Day? Oh, that's that's a white man's holiday anyway. Uh, I, I gotta go. I gotta go right quick. <laughs> so he, he gotta go scramble and try to get something together. This is my little thought on this little topic right here. Okay, so we get to Victor and he is a mistress. Why is he going to bring her a card? And it's not that she, because she's transsexual or anything like that. But I look at it like this. Why is there double standards and stuff? Just because she is a transsexual. He just walked in. I know they're not like all the way official and stuff. But they are having a sexual relationship together. And he's not messing with anybody. He got like the little Tierra thing. But that's like for publicity. Okay. He's not fucking with nobody. He's having a sexual relationship with the transsexual. He goes to go talk to her. And she's entertaining somebody about to get her freak on. Then he got to apologize and go bring a card. Apologizing again. And trying to fight for her love. Like. Okay. Like if that was a cis woman would this be... The same situation and stuff. Like. Nigga. Nah I'm good. Nah I'm good. You you entertaining this dude or whatever. You you fucking right right there. Like. Nah. 
But I think it's trifling. But that's me. That's me. Tiff find out Keisha moving in. She is she just so jealous of stuff. She is mad, petty as hell. And but I give her one thing. Because she did ask uh she did ask Emmett if he could watch EJ. Because she she wanna have husband plans or something. He like, I got Lil Ronnie, I have the other two boys, I can't do it right now. Now, on that situation, he could've he could have kept EJ. Like that's your child too. Like, you got Ronnie. You got your other two sons. Why you can't keep EJ, EJ? Like, all the sons and stuff, they can all play together and stuff. And they can have him. Look, you ain't doing shit. He, sh he should have kept kept the child, but I probably wouldn't have did it for Tiff either. Because Tiff is, Tiff is just, she on one this episode. Oh, I choose the MVP for the episode. That's something I want to start doing. My MVP for the episode, because I probably won't, won't remember at the end of this episode. My MVP is going to be a, a double. Darnell and Emmy. They both got the MVP. Since they your father son, I give it to both of them. We'll get to get to that later on down the line. Uh Lene, just like Keisha, in this way. I think she's jealous of Kev, man. Like cause he getting together his little little Valentine's Day stuff and she and she seemed like she she just she jealous. So I'm like I'm like maybe she does she have a little crush on Kevin or something? Or is it just that she just wants some attention from a guy or something? I don't I don't know what it is. But it's just Lene giving me crazy, strange vibes with Kev. I'm over at Jake and Gemma. Like, just they, they hold it interactions. I'm never going to be the same. Nothing you can tell me is going to make me happy. I just want to be miserable the rest of my life. We're down. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just done with them. Like I I did not like them this whole episode. Like I do I I don't think I'm gonna talk about them for the rest of the episode. But anyway, Shad and Victor they go on a double date. Like Shad he cheap. He ain't, he ain't got the most money in the world or something. He like man I don't know if I'm gonna have to buy you a gift or I'm gonna make a dinner. He like yo nigga you why you gotta be so cheap and shit. Like man look, I ain't got. It. And the home girl she like well you can you can come with us you can double, well who gonna pay the bill? Duda. Like, well, fuck it. Come on. We gonna go on this double date. Not a good idea. <laughs> uh, then we go back. We go back to Tiff. She is snapping on Rob. Like, she mad. She mad at him because of her internal shit. Like, she is a toxic person. We seeing that more and more. She got that pretty girl syndrome, man. Like, she just been beautiful all her life and everybody been like bowing down to her and stuff and then she been in toxic relationships and I think she just toxic. She she uh she Laurie Lori Harvey. Like <laughs> she just on her bullshit right now man. Jada knows Darnell. She knows Darnell man. They go out and she like uh I know you ain't, you didn't really think of this, you didn't want to do this. You always, I know you hate Valentine's Day, you say it's the white man's holiday. Yeah, you're right, but I want to try to do this thing different. But they meet up with some high school friends, and it's like, okay, it's Valentine's Day. No, nah, we might never see y'all again, man. Come on, y'all hang out with us. That is so intrusive. I'm like, if I'm Valentine's Day with my lady, like, yeah, we might have not seen each other in a long time or whatever, but this is Valentine's Day. Let's have our time together. Like, we can talk to y'all for a little second, but we got some shit to do. But, they try not to be rude and stuff like that, man. Fuck y'all. We, we got, our, got our own thing going. Uh, Nina and Dre, I feel like they shit was just so un unromantic. They get dressed, they get in the car. I'm tired. Okay, well, let's go back in the house and let's order some Thai food or whatever. Like, I, in my mind, I'm like, I'm like, lean away. I'm like, I know you have like a a, a kindred spirit to like the lesbian couples and stuff. I'm like, I thought you would have went over the top with them, like make them have the best night ever. But maybe lean away is projecting. Like, this is this what I would have loved to do. Cause you know she she got divorced and shit like that too. Maybe maybe she like, I did these 
My wife wanted me to do these grand gestures. Look, we could have just did this, stay in the house, and we could have had a good time. Maybe that's it, but who am who am I? Who am I? I don't know these people. I'm just talking shit. Uh, Ciara seem Ciara seem either jealous of Shad and them, or she into Shad. She looking at that brother like a steak. And then he he calls her he calls her beautiful and stuff. You better uh pay attention to this beautiful black queen and stuff. And homegirls just looking. They just looking like nigga. She tried not to make up like a scene and shit, but she like nigga. What the, what the fuck? And yeah, he 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 a little wrong for that. He a little wrong for that. Like he being nice, but yeah, I I can I can see I can see like yeah, like shy. They, they you 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 tripping? You tripping, my dog? And Shad was the MVP of my last episode. I was like, man, Shad, Shad. But, uh, of course, they got to fuck it up. Lean away from them, yeah. Yeah, brother, brother, can't, can't be good. Uh, Tiff is bringing up Emmett to Rob. She like, uh, Emmett, Emmett did something nice for Keisha. Like, so? I do shit nice for you every day. It don't have to be a holiday for me to treat you good. I treat you good every day. And she's complaining about that. I told you it's that pretty girl syndrome, man. Like, she just, she is toxic. Toxic, toxic, toxic. Keisha, she's watching Wait and Exhale. She at the, got her spa day. She at the hotel by herself. She texts, she texts his, uh, Tiff out the blue. And I'm kind of like, that is a little intrusive because it is Valentine's Day. So how she assuming that Tiff didn't really have plans, and Tiff was about to be petty and be like, I got plans with, with my Valentine's Day, but she don't. So, she like, well, fuck it. Where, where we gonna meet at? But she doesn't do it with the with the best of intentions, because she on her bullshit. Kev, I, I, I like Kev this season, man. He don't have the most camera time and stuff like that. Like, his story isn't the, the most exquisite. Like, he's had better storylines in the season. But, uh, he named the star after homegirl. The grandmother has the door open, like, so they can't do anything sneaky. They are having a nice little dinner. They're not making babies. They're not smoking weed. They're not sneaking out. They ain't doing no bullshit. They being kids. It's boring, but I like it. I like where Kev's storyline is going rather than Jake and them. I just like them to be some kids, chill. Like, yeah, it's boring. It ain't Stranger Things or nothing like that. But they, they being pure. I'm tired of all this bullshit. <laughs> Hell, even Papa, Papa is, is on some bullshit this year, man. I like to see him be some kids and be happy for a change. Hell, Kevin have been through a hell and back. We see Bakari and Papa. Papa call, calls him out, like, calls him out on this shit, like, uh, it is your fault why uh, the shit happened, why she lost her baby and stuff. And it's Valentine's Day. I wish I wasn't with your ass. I don't want to be with your ass either. I mean, you sure you don't you don't want to have uh, send some love out to somebody? You don't like nobody? You know Bacar really likes Lene. So uh, they get to, get to chopping it up. And Papa gets back on his uh, Chuck Woolery shit trying to hook motherfuckers up. Cause that used to be his lit thing back in the days. Jada and Darnell meet up with, with the old friends and stuff. Why are they bringing up all the old shit, all the negative instances that that happened with Darnell and Jada? I'm like, man, they about to bring bring up some shit and fuck up their relationship. But it doesn't happen, so I'm happy about that. But I was like, nigga, what the fuck wrong with y'all, man? Y'all see we out there on Valentine's Day, we trying to have a good time, and y'all bringing up why y'all always bringing up old shit? Keisha and Tiff together. And Tiff is on her bullshit. Like she is acting petty as hell. I ain't never gonna be cool with that. What if I if I if I mess with uh Nuck? And out of all the people, Nuck? Like you think Keisha uh has like love for Nuck and stuff? Like you could have named the little nerdy dude. Like and what if I went mess with the little nerdy dude? Like that would have been more of a jab. But Nuck? Like why would Keisha have a a uh? Gripe with her talking to Nuck. Fuck Nuck. <laughs> Nina and Drake, they watch their wedding footage. 
So I guess they did have a romantic evening and they get their groove on. GTD, she got the drawers, dog. Darnell, Darnell hurt. Cause he's sitting back and he, he like, man, my friends, they was together like 20 years and stuff, celebrating 20 years. Like if I didn't fuck up all them times, man, back in the days, we could be having our 20 year anniversary and stuff. She like, man, shit happens. We had our, our road that we went on and it brought us back to each other. Everybody got their own journey. Shy being nice to Tierra. And he like, oh, you looking good enough to eat. Ah, he need going about his business. He don't think nothing about it. But Tierra, she liking that shit. She wants somebody to, to be into her. Like, she's a beautiful lady. Home by Victor ain't into her and shit. But the fucked up thing is Deja overhears that. Deja overhears that. She shoots out. She like, nigga, she wouldn't even be, be into you. If I didn't um, fix your ass up, she's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. And she ends up leaving and stuff, man. Tiff goes to see Emmett. She tries to seduce him. She like, I know how I'm going to fuck up their relationship. I'm going to get this nigga some pussy. And this nigga turns it down. He turns it down, man. She like, you could be you could be faithful to Tiff, but you couldn't be, be faithful to me. Like, it is something to think about. It is fucked up, but hey, he changed. He changed, man. And for the right person. Because him and Keisha always had the big thing. And then after that, Tiff goes right back to Rob. But, like, nothing ain't happened. Like, she just didn't try to give a nigga some pussy. I'm like, boy, the women is trifling. But, uh, then, but she is looking at Rob like, she, she eating a little food. She just looking at him. Nigga, I can't stand you. Rob ain't did shit. <laughs> Victor, Victor gets his date with old girl. Yeah, okay. I'm like, hmm. Uh, anyways. Sierra offers Shy the draw. She she like, uh, what happened to your girl? You know, Rosalind, she she uh busy or whatever at the moment. I I like to chill with you. I think you cool and this and that. You like she pushes up on me like I I'm in a situation. Yeah, so so what? Uh, me too. And Shad he pushes her away at first. He's trying to be a good brother, man, but yo, hey, Sierra, she a beautiful motherfucker, dog. So, I would have turned her down because I'm a good, I'm a good dude, I'm a good dude. But uh, Shad, the, the MVP of last episode, man, he he fuck up, he fuck up. Papa gives Lene the card, secret admirer, and this and that. It's it's not long last last uh, it's secret or whatever. Because Bakari comes out, happy Valentine's Day. Like he looking so innocent and shit. This nigga's a killer. Everything made made own girl lose a baby and stuff and. Lene is like, I, I, yeah, I, I kind of like you and whatever, but I know what you did. You need to go get that situation right before we can go out on a date. You're like, yo, I, I bet, bet. So he's going to try to go and apologize. I don't think that's going to work out good. I think Jake might Jake might try to catch a body. Maybe, I, you never know. Emma tells Darnell what happened. And he like, he like, man, look. You can, you can marry mama and stuff, man. People change because I change. Tiff tried to give me some pussy. I turned it down. He like, yo, that's great. That's great, son. You know you're going to have to tell Keisha. No, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, boy. That is going to be some shit. They live friendship. They thought that their friendship was going to come back. No, it's not. They can't bounce back from that. Uh, and in the episode, man, Darnell proposes. I want to see what happens whenever Emmett tells Keisha. But, ooh. But, man, this was, it, it was a good episode. There was a lot that happened. Man, I had a lot of notes and shit. So, anyways, man, y'all, drop y'all thoughts in the comment section, man, what y'all thought about this episode. Uh, I'm, I'm sick of, of Jake and Gemma. Like, y'all go y'all separate ways and be kids. Uh, Kev, I like Kev, his trajectory. Shad was a good nigga. Damn, they gotta bring him, they gotta drag him through the mud. Damn, why can't somebody, why can't he just be a good dude? Why he can't, they gotta, gotta interject some, some drama and, and some bullshit and gotta hear him fuck up and cheat, cheat on a black lady. Like, damn, it could be some, some drama like, damn, I, okay, I need to stop my flirting, but you got him cheating. Man, god damn it. Anyways, man, I enjoyed the episode. Like, comment, subscribe, go be the greatest and most hated man. Holla at your boy. Peace.